I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today is another Baddie Revelations and I'm gonna be talking about the importance of coffee. I call it bad bitch juice. So let's get into that now. Before we do, you're more than welcome to subscribe on this channel. I talk about all things self-development. So if that sounds good to you, I'd love to have you here. So I'm not meaning to start your caffeine addiction. That is not what I'm talking about, but stick with me here. Coffee is a vibe. Coffee is something that I have not only to create more energy, to do more things, to be more productive, to be more of a bad bitch, but it's just a vibe, you know what I mean? Even if it's just making coffee, making instant coffee in your kitchen, walking up, it's like an act of self-love. You brew the coffee, you sit down, read your favorite book or your favorite YouTube video, and you just vibe out and you take a sip of your coffee and that coffee feeling is literally the best. You can go to the kitchen and do all of that but it's so so much more powerful I just can't explain it but it's just a vibe when you walk out of the door and you go and order a coffee either at Starbucks or your favorite cafe or you're in your favorite area and you're around people that you want to be mixed with you know what I mean ordering that coffee have it being made for you is just such an amazing act of self-love that just fuels you into being better and more of a bad bitch version like I swear I don't know what they put in that coffee but I literally just like like go from zero to a hundred real quick and like I'm a bad bitch but then I become the baddest bitch ever. What I'm saying is do not discredit the vibe of walking out, drinking coffee and then either taking a walk, listening to your favorite music to up level your bad bitchery uh, or walking to work or wherever you're going. It's kind of just like a mental thing to get you ready to start the day. I literally I'm so much more productive when I do this process and I really highly recommend it. You can do things out of action intentionally, right? Or not intentionally. So if you don't know this, you would just be normally going and getting your coffee or whatever and mindlessly kind of enjoying your coffee. But if you set an intention and you're like, I've literally created a bad bitch ritual. If you've been following me since 2018, I would take photos of my coffee and say, bad bitch juice, bad bitch juice. Like every, all my friends are like, you have to make like a mug, you have to make t-shirts that says bad bitch juice. So if you see that from someone else, just know that the idea was from me because I have stories every single day being like, bad bitch juice that, bad bitch juice this, but literally, and this is like affirmations as well, it kind of, the more I sipped on the coffee, the more I was like, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch, and it would literally hype me up. It could be the placebo effect, it could be both that, the vibes of all of that, my intention, and also the fact that coffee just gives you energy. If you set an intention, if you say, you know, I'm gonna go and get this coffee and I'm making a ritual out of myself, this is my self-love ritual that I'm becoming a bad bitch every time I go and get a cup of coffee and I'm gonna either take a walk or whatever makes me feel good. Guys, you have to do things that make you feel good now. What do you do if you don't drink coffee or if that's not really a vibe for you? Literally like all of those that girl TikToks where they're just like waking up at 4 a.m. and making like their green smoothies. If that's your bad bitch juice, that is your bad bitch juice. Go off sis. Like I literally would like not be motivated and then you know I don't want to go to the gym or I don't want to wake up early go to a cafe and do my work or apply for these jobs or you know email this person I'm like you know what I'm gonna treat myself and I would go and get some coffee and I was losing weight at the time so I'm like you know coffee subdues your hunger and you know I didn't want a juice I wanted energy through that whole process of ordering having a conversation with the barista seeing people work around me just like living in the world living in life not just being in your like apartment and then having that first sip feeling, listening to hip hop, me and the stallion, Nicki Minaj, whatever it is that you listen to, but that was like my hype. I'm just gonna be another baddie revelations, listen to music that hypes you up, duh. But like that combination was just mm, so good. It is the number one thing that I do to hype myself up and then I am in that mode. I am ready to go to work. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch, fuck the bitch. Bitch get slick, I'm a the bitch. 
Anyways, if you need a permission slip to go get you a $5 coffee at Starbucks, here you go, girl. Here you go, baby girl. This is your permission slip to be a bad bitch. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you love this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to talk about anything else on this Batty Revelations. I love Batty Revelations. And if you haven't seen the other videos that I've done on Batty Revelations, it's like a whole thing now. So make sure you watch it and tell me what you think. And I love you guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.